Prosecutors say early on they raised concern that trying James and Jennifer Crumley together would pose a conflict, and we now know at least some of that has to do with two people in Florida where the couple once lived. I think they're both just as culpable. Um, I, they both played their roles um, in different ways. Many parents of Oxford High School students believe Jennifer and James Crumbly share in the blame of their son's massacre. And now the husband and wife want separate trials, two years after the couple and their attorneys declared that they wanted to share counsel. At this time, there is not a conflict. We have addressed if a potential conflict, how that could arise. Uh, we don't anticipate that's going to happen. Ms. Crumbly, and knowing all that, do you still want to proceed today with these attorneys? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Crumbly, do you want to still proceed today with these attorneys? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. It was predictable. It was so predictable that one of the defendants was going to throw the other under the bus, or there would be testimony that would only apply to one of the defendants. In James Crumbly's motion for a separate trial, his attorney says they just realized there's a conflict of interest based on information recently provided by the prosecution. We get more details in the motion Jennifer Crumbly's attorney filed, in which they state that two weeks ago, law enforcement interviewed two people in Florida. And after reviewing audio of those interviews, they need to sever Jennifer Crumbly's trial from her husband's. Attorney Todd Flood represents one of the young shooting victims who survived there was inevitably going to be a conflict right of one pointing the finger at the other well he did this or she did that in the prosecution's response to the motion for a separate trial they agree with the defense that there is a conflict but deny that it's anything new prosecutors say jennifer crumley is entitled to a separate trial because some of the evidence pertaining to her husband will be damaging to her and vice versa. I feel that both of them were on board with purchasing him the gun. Um, maybe the father took him there, but the mother took him to the shooting range, so it wasn't like she wasn't aware. Um, so it's, in my eyes, they're both, they're both just as responsible. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.